home all the fabulous yogis who are making a difference in the world. It's the Give Love Tour. Today on the Give Love Tour, we are talking to MC Yogi, the man who wrote the Give Love song. You may know MC Yogi as a fabulous, dope yogi rapper, but what you may not have known is that he is also a fabulous, dope yoga and meditation teacher. Today he is going to teach a simple meditation called Japa, which includes the use of a mala and the repetition of mantra, the repetition of mantra, the repetition of mantra. So this new record that we're working on, Mantra Beat Meditations, is designed to really cultivate a regular mantra practice. So a mantra is like a short, compacted, condensed phrase or prayer that you can chant to yourself to help unlock all the potential energy hidden inside of us. So in the ancient texts of India, it said that there's 108 doorways, pathways inside the heart, which is why there's 108 bees on the mala. And we chant 108 times to open those 108 doors. And when you hold the mala, you want to hold the mala with your thumb and your ring finger and turn it with your middle finger. Now the middle, the pointer finger never touches the beads. The pointer finger represents the ego. So when we do our practice, we don't want it to become uh, egoic exercise, which is why in the Hare Krishna tradition, oftentimes the prayer beads in the hands are hidden because we don't want to show off that we're doing our mantra practice. Mantra practice is designed as a way to keep us really grounded in a really truthful, honest, and loving place, which is why it's so helpful for all of us. So in this mantra practice, when you're chanting 108 times, the idea is that you get into a natural rhythm and it creates a trance. So it starts to override all the superficial dialogues that we have going on inside of our head. And we start to drop into a place where we can really tap into a space of silence, stillness, peace, and serenity. A really great mantra to begin with when you're doing japa is a prayer to Ganesh, who is the Lord of Beginnings. He is a remover of obstacles, and it's always auspicious to invoke Ganesh at the beginning of a new endeavor or project. So when you're doing your japa mantra, you can chant Om Gum Ganapataye Namaha. And Gum is the bija or seed sound of Ganesh. And you can imagine that sometimes Gum gets stuck at the bottom of your shoe and you can't move. So when you chant Om Gum Ganapataye, Ganesh is helping to remove all the muck and all the mud so that we can flow like water into that sweet space that's hidden inside the heart. So let's try that together. Om gam ganapataye namaha 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 And with the mantra beat meditation we simply add a beat so that we can nod our head while we chant the mantra. So I hope you enjoy. Namaste. Give up.